I don't find comedians that funny. I know that's probably sounds like a pretentious thing to say, but it's pretty rare that I watch a comedian and I laugh out loud. Yeah. I love hearing other people laugh. I, I love, love the too. sound. This of is laughter. why the soundtracks really help. Have you ever watched? friends clips on youtube without, without the soundtrack no is it just they have a whole series of these on youtube and you're like wow you're right this isn't funny yes. there's something about that laughter that gets you laughing. so i love watching comedy because mm -hmm. i love hearing people laugh even if i'm not laughing out loud hmm. so and I, I think it's cl clever so anyway um who who is you know who i laughed at who? a lot ricky gervais is Excellent comedian. He's also an atheist, and I object to many, many things that he says. And I often wouldn't go along with those who would say, look how courageous he is for speaking out against the trans insanity, because he does, but then he kind of like walks it back and says, hey, you do you, live your own life. And I'm like, all right, well, either it's insane or it's not insane. And if it is insane, you shouldn't be telling people to live their own insanity. Uh, though, from my understanding, though, he, he still kind of held the line. Because I thought he said like, you know, they're just like everyone else, which is why I can make fun of them like everyone else. Like, I feel like he's, he's yeah, he, still... Yeah, he is. You're right. He's more courageous than most. And But the first 15 minutes of his Netflix latest stand-up thing was golden. And then it just dropped off and I wasn't that impressed. But And I'm not necessarily encouraging people to watch it because there is a lot of you know, really inappropriate and sexual things in there. But golly, he's funny. And I laughed out loud, found myself laughing out loud. Him, Brian Regan, Norm MacDonald. My gosh, that guy can get super gross. Unfortunately, it's really unfortunate because he's so lovely. Like he's so adorable in a way. I mean that in a non-patronizing way. Like yes. he's, he's like your everyman guy. Like he acts like a bit of a dunce and yes. he, he's just charming. So, so it's like you've got this, oh, you're so charming. And then you start speaking sexually and you're like, Ugh, I don't want someone I perceive to be charming and yeah I mean, the comedy is so specific because I just cannot get in Norm Macdonald yeah and he died recently mm -hmm. and I've been seeing commentary about, about him and people are like a lot of people think he's the best I think he probably is yeah wow but no but Brian Regan is just spectacular I kind of love Ricky Gervais yeah do you know when you just see somebody and you don't know why you're just I kind of just love that person yeah and I would love to meet him um I love Christopher Hitchens yeah I just well, speaking of Christopher Hitchens, he wrote that article called Why Women Aren't Funny. He did. Yeah. And he said it was because of evolutionary reasons. He's like, <laughs> you have no need to be funny. Look ah. at us. It's really important. <laughs> and that's so true. Like, I think if a, a woman finds a man and finds him hilarious, she probably finds him attractive. Yes. But I don't need to find my wife like hilarious to find her attractive. She has many other traits, you know, and. Is he arguing basically women are beautiful? So that's that may really I haven't read the article. Okay. Honestly, I just heard about it because I started saying this and someone referenced Christopher Hitchens as having written an article on it. I haven't read it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.